What is up, cannabis industry professional dispensary owners? My name is Samuel Fisher from Green Dispensary Marketing, and I want to talk to you guys today, uh, continue on with my 10 dispensary marketing hacks series on how we can generate listing reviews and have an automated review system in place. Um, and so this actually is something that's very simple to do, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we just need to do some things up front to ensure that systems start to automate themselves. All right, so real quick, why should you even care about uh, your reviews and your business listings in the first place, right? Um, first of all, it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, I would imagine many of you are very concerned about your reputation. In fact, um, if you're not concerned about your reputation, um, it's just going to bring in further problems. Um, could snowball effects. Maybe you have one bad client who tells uh, two of his friends about what you've done, and maybe it's not even true, then that snowballs into five more clients. If you're proactively handling your review process, it's going to lessen out the noise of circumstances like this, which eventually will come. Uh, you can be a perfect business in the world, but you're still going to have clients that are unhappy. It is what it is. If you're getting plenty of good reviews simultaneously, when things like this happen, it's going to lessen a lot of the damage and ensure that one or two bad reviews doesn't impact your reputation and sales. Um, next up, probably the bigger reason, um, it's going to improve your SDO and visibility. Uh, one of the ranking factors that Google uses when determining where local businesses get ranked for keywords like dispensaries in my city or dispensaries near me are the reviews that they have on the Google My Business and other listing sites. Um, and so if you're not proactively trying to get more reviews on these sites, um, it's just going to make it so that you have a harder time getting ranked uh, for keywords in your local area that you want to get ranked for. So you absolutely need to be ensuring that you're getting more reviews. And finally, if you want to automate your review process, you're going to find that it enhances your reputation um, and customer loyalty. Uh, people like shopping at the best. People like getting the best quality products. And so if you're getting a lot of reviews, it's also going to give you the chance to increase your prices. Um, if people are seeing that you have the best quality products in your area, they're going to come to you more. They're going to tell your friends. They're going to tell their friends about you and you're going to get more business. And so I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you. You're going to jump right into an example of how I might do this. And so um, here's my platform. I use this platform for generating reviews through, it could be through a Google My Business. It could be through a Yelp. It could be through whatever. And so here's actually one of my clients. We did a review campaign through him where we sent about 100 messages and it got us about a 5% review rate. And so that's pretty cool. And so um, as a cannabis so say that you have a cannabis dispensary and you're a little worried um, that maybe they might leave you a bad review. Um, one of the things I would recommend that you do um, is to have a system in place where they can you can automatically give them this review. And so basically, essentially how this works um, through this right here, um, when we're going through the sale, we're going to collect an email from the customer. We're going to upload that to our CRM. Um, the emails get sent into our CRM, um, so we have a list of customers. Um, and then from there, after the customer makes a purchase, um, it is automatically prompted uh, for them to receive an email and or text message, just depending on how you want to do it. And it'll go to a page that looks kind of like this. And so as I was getting at, uh, one of the things you might want to do is kind of defend yourself, uh, make sure that you don't get bad reviews, right? And so uh, one of the things you could do, um, if you were to work with us, for example, uh, we can implement a defense system. So say you were to get this page um, and you are placing a review and you really don't like this dispensary and you click terrible. And so you're trying to hurt the reputation. Um, you can actually make it so it doesn't actually um, leave the review and you can forward it over to, like for example, here's, our, here's uh, the client's website. So <laughs> we just forward them over to the website, which is pretty funny. And so, um, and so how we have it set up, is that anybody who clicks good or great uh, gets forwarded to the right place. And so when they click good or great, uh, then they get prompted straight over to Google and they'll have the business pop up with review. And so that's pretty cool. And so also simultaneously, one of the strategies that I would recommend that you implement is to have a QR code. And so um, this is actually one that we have set up uh, for our clients over here at Fountain Superstore. Shout out to Fountain Superstore. You guys are awesome. Best dispensary in Colorado Springs. If you're in Colorado Springs, check them out. Um, they can just scan this QR code right here. I mean, it does the same thing. It'll take them straight to the Google My Business uh, review. And so you can set it up. Um, if you were to work with us, we can do reviews for whatever platform. It's just really just mix and match um, where we're placing the links. And so right now, 
we're trying to uh, boost the Google reviews uh, for our clients. And so this is the main area where we are focusing. Um, however, in a nutshell, if you're going to do this, if you're going to automate your listing reviews, I would highly recommend that you get a, a platform um, like the one that we offer. And so basically what it'll do, as I'm saying, um, right after the customer makes a purchase, they'll get automatically sent an email. Once we collect the email, prompt them to place the review. Um, and so we'll make best use of them while we have them right after they make the sale, um, as well as simultaneously, if you have the budget, if you have the means uh, to send an SMS campaign. Um, and so while, while we're on the note, SMS campaigns for the cannabis industry are a little complicated. That's actually another topic for another video. Um, recommend some platforms uh, for SMS campaigns. Um, that's something we can talk about in a different video. Um, however, if you are interested, you, want to, you would like a free dispensary site audit, um, have me check out your listing uh, reviews and your strategy for generating reviews, uh, go ahead and click on the link below. I'll help you out. Um, it's no pressure sales call. I uh, just really want to help you out. Um, and so we'll ask you to buy my services probably. Um, but I respect you and you're a cannabis industry professional and you stand for many of the same things that I do. And so um, that's the main reason why I'm doing these videos is to help you out. Um, and if, uh, if you decide that you could use some help, um, here I am. And so that, that's all I have for you guys today on this plenty of listing reviews and automated review system, my 10 dispensary marketing hacks series. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you have a great day. Talk soon. Bye-bye.